Okay, you guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your own variation plan. I'm gonna actually show you specifically what I do when I sit down with a patient and how I use all the tools of keto, fasting and hormone feasting and protein cycling. How do I put these all together and customize it for my patients? So get ready, it's a, it's a good one. Okay, you guys, I got something really cool for you today. I wanna to teach you how to do, create your own variation plan with keto and fasting. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I love to give you these resets. I gave you a, well, a couple months back, I gave a 15 day reset um, that we're doing in our women's reset program. I just gave you a muscle reset. Um, so I, what I like to do is take all the principles of fasting and keto and autophagy and hormone building and protein building and I like to combine them all with my patients to get the best experience and the deepest level of healing possible. So what I wanna to do today is I wanna show you how you can create your own reset, how you can customize keto and fasting uh, for yourself. So there are a lot of pieces to this. Um, I actually wrote all of them out here. I'm gonna show you how this works. I put this here for my patients so that they can see it when they come in and they can learn to customize stuff for themselves. Um, and I know you can't see the writing on here, so I'm gonna put up, um, I'm gonna have my team put up some um, headers in here so you can follow through with this. And then we actually will turn these into little squares on our community page. So make sure that you subscribe and you go and look at our community, community page regularly. Okay, with that said, how do you customize a keto diet variation plan for yourself? How do you customize your own reset, okay? So you guys that have been following me for a while, hopefully you know that what is the first question you always wanna ask yourself? And that is, what are you trying to accomplish? So get really clear what you're trying to accomplish before you start to put these pieces together, okay? And as I go through the pieces, I'll be explaining a little more about tricks of if you're trying to accomplish weight loss or you're trying to get more brain clarity or you're trying to heal a gut or you're trying to build muscle, I'll, I'll add those in as I go through this, okay? So first question is what you wanna accomplish. Now, second thing, what I want you to do is I want you to choose what length of fast you wanna do, okay? And I've simplified this for you. I've laid out six different lengths of fast, okay? So we've got intermittent fasting, 13 to 15 hours. You've got autophagy fasting, seven, that's a, a, I like to say it's around 17 hours is the sweet spot. That's where autophagy really kicks in is at 17 hours. If you're going for those intestinal stem cells, you're gonna to wanna to look at a 24 hour fast if you're trying to drop weight, you're gonna to need to lean in on some more 36 hour fasts. If you want stem cells for immune system and musculoskeletal, you need to lean in on three to five day water fasts. And you know, if you're under, in a healing crisis, that's what those longer five day fasts are. But when you're gonna customize something for yourself on a weekly basis, most of the time you're gonna choose these top four, intermittent, autophagy, intestinal stem cells, um, or weight loss. So those are usually the four that I will sit down with a patient and I'll go, okay, what are we trying to accomplish when we look at those four, okay? Second thing you're gonna, stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you how you put this together for yourself in a week's time period. Second thing you wanna look at is choose what kind of eating style you're gonna have. So I've been teaching on my channel six different eating styles. Um, the first one is more of a classic keto, and you guys, many of you know this, this is keeping your, protein, your carbs under 20 grams, um, and you're keeping your good fat above 75% of your daily intake is good fat. That's classic keto. I actually don't teach it a lot here on my channel um, because I like the second option, which is ketobiotic which is keeping your net carbs under 50 grams, keeping your protein under 15 grams, and then leaning on about 60% of your diet should come from good fat, okay? So that's, that's what I teach a lot here on my channel is ketobiotic. Then you guys know autophagy, when we're doing like autophagy days, we're, trying, we're keeping protein under 20 grams, 
and um, you're keeping your net carbs around 50 grams net carbs um, and you're breaking your fat fast with fat so you're leaning into there's a very specific way we want you to break your fast okay so that would be an autophagy style of eating then you guys know hopefully fast mimicking fast mimicking is where you're keeping your calories down under 800 and you're keeping your protein under 20 grams and there's no animal protein okay so and sit tight I, there's a lot of pieces to this i'm going to show you how to put it all together so hang in there with me and then the two more feasting style days that I like are hormone building feast days where you're upping your carbohydrate load somewhere between 100 to 200 um, cal uh, grams uh, net carbs uh, in a day and you're leaning into those hormone building foods like the squashes and the potatoes and um, the some of the rices and some tropical fruits citrus fruits beans these are things that we typically don't eat on a keto diet but I've talked a lot about hormones and how you splash in some of these hormone building and then all the protein cycling that I just talked about in my muscle building uh, videos go back and watch that and we talked um, about how you want to every four to five times a day you want to cycle in those 20 grams of protein with protein cycling I want to clarify this for those of you that are following the sequence of my videos here is that with protein cycling you're keeping your carbs at 50 or net carbs and you're keeping your fat around 60 percent so you're just manipulating the protein okay so these are the six styles of food that you have and then these are the the six styles of fasting that you have although on a weekly basis there I, you're really going to lean into mostly four okay so how do you put this together for yourself so i'm going to come over here and basically what i want you to say is okay it's sunday night let me sit look at what my week has in store for me so and you ask yourself again what am i trying to accomplish this week so okay i feel like i put on some extra weight i want to lose weight this week so let's say that's your that's your your game plan so you look at your monday and you go okay today is uh, on monday i'm gonna do intermittent fasting so i picked one fast from here and i'm gonna combine it with a more traditional keto i'm gonna go low carb so I'm gonna combine my intermittent fasting with my keto, I'm gonna put these two together and that is going to be my Monday eating style, okay? Then Tuesday comes along, you wanna drop more weight, so you're like, guess what, on Tuesday, I'm gonna lean in more to a 36 hour fast because I wanna focus in on weight loss. So I'm gonna lean into that 36 hour fast and then, I gotta, go, gotta turn this way, um, on Wednesday, I'm gonna do go back to intermittent fasting and I'm gonna lean in on autophagy eating. And autophagy eating, I know what autophagy eating is. I'm gonna break my fast with fat. I'm going to um, keep my protein under 20 grams, but I can have animal protein, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do on autophagy, autophagy day. Now Thursday, I wanna get some intestinal stem cell production. So, and I'm, I got a busy day on Thursday, so I'm gonna actually fast all day. I'm just gonna have dinner and I'm gonna keep it a keto diet. Um, maybe on Thursday, I'm just gonna focus on keto. Maybe you even make it a keto biotic. Maybe I do a sauerkraut meal with, uh, you know, with a sausage or something like that. Um, and then Friday, well, gosh, I know that my, I, my hormones have been low. I've been feeling like estrogen's down. My hot flashes are up. So our estrogen is, is, is off and progesterone's off. So I'm going to do two days of hormone building. But one day I'm going to combine it with intermittent fasting. And the next day I'm going to combine it with 24-hour fasting. And then maybe on Sunday I decide, hey, I'm going to do a 17-hour fast and I'm gonna combine it with protein and I'm gonna build muscle. So this is literally, again, I hope, that, let me know if this is clear because I think this is how you all can customize this for yourself. I did a whole video, I gave you like a, the 511 variation and the 421 and the 331. Those are some pre-made variations that I've done. Go watch that video if you wanna look at how, how I've, I've combined them for patients. But if you're sitting there and, you, and a lot of you guys are following each one of my videos and uh, uh, so much uh, gratitude for your questions and your engagement, I want you to now, how do I take what I'm learning here on these videos and how do I take it to the next level? 
And it's in the variation that is key. I'm telling you, I'm sitting down in consultations with so many of you that are sticking to one or two fasting styles, and maybe you're only doing one keto, one eating style. There's not enough variation. So I want to encourage you to take it to that next level and now customize your own variation. Customize which, how much fasting you want to do and customize your eating style. And then it's a perfect way to blend all the wonders that we know that science is teaching us on, on how fasting and eating can really make a difference. And this is what we're doing in the Women's Reset. This is what I do is I take people through a 15 day experience where we custom, where I've created something specific for metabolism. And it, it's so flipping cool because I see, see women that have been fasting and doing keto and they're stuck and they're not losing weight. And the next thing you know, we put them through, you know, autophagy and then, and then we've got them doing ketobiotic and then we have them doing 36 hour fast and we just keep cycling it. And after 15 days, they're like, whoa, oh my gosh, I finally lost weight. So we just started another women's reset. We'll start another one in um, probably a couple months. We're trying to set the next date, but depending on when you wa are watching this, put women's reset if you want to join us in that. Until then, customize your own. Take, take these pieces that I just taught you and, and it's the, the, what you don't want to do is say, well, I like autophagy, I like to go 17 hours and I like keto, I like to keep my keto really low and keep it at about 20 grams, so I'm just going to stay in that lane forever and ever. That's where you get stuck. If you want to unstick yourself, you got to change with the variation. And somebody said it best in my resetter group. They were like, I like being a flexitarian. And honestly, that's what this is. It's like a keto flexitarian moment where you can build a life, an eating and a fasting lifestyle that works around your social calendar. It works around what you're trying to accomplish with your health and you never get bored. It's, it's, it's the coolest once you click into it. So let me know if that was helpful. Just put helpful in the comments. Give me feedback on it. Um, I want to know if this level of detail is too much for you guys. Do you like it? Um, I, I just so passionately want you guys to get these concepts because I'm just watching lives change with it. So I keep, the more I see another life change, the more I want to come to YouTube and be like, oh, try this everybody. So I want to make sure that this is helpful. So please give me feedback on that. I know that with fasting, the fasting benefits chart has been really helpful for many of you. So if you didn't get my fa fasting benefits chart, just put fasting benefits in the, um, in the comments and we'll make sure you get it. Um, but you know, as always, this is, I do these for you. So please take these principles, believe in your body. It's a miracle. You just have never been taught how to eat or how to, how to cycle or how to fast before. This is so, we live in such an exciting time because many of you are applying these principles and you're just for the first time really seeing how miraculous your body is. So, um, as always, I hope that helps. <laughs>